Uh, welcome to another episode of Latif's Inspired. Today I'm going to be showing you a proper tandoori spice chicken tikka that you can do at home. Now if it's in the restaurant it will be done in the tandoor, very hot so it's charred on the outside and very succulent and juicy in the inside. So I'm going to try to sort of recreate that for you guys at home to follow. Um, you've seen me on loads of uh, uploads that I've done on my channel. Um, basically going out reviewing restaurants I've always wanted to do that and obviously writing the books and that's something going to come in the future that you're asking for so hopefully I'm going to be doing that in the future just at the moment I'm kind of enjoying myself I've been invited to a few restaurants and helping out the local businesses as well so they need a bit of help at this time so uh, that's why I'm doing these and if you do enjoy them make a nice little comment um, I'm enjoying doing it like I said to you and going out to restaurants reviewing them is a fantastic experience for me and I'm learning as well and I love to learn about food and so on and definitely about culture so food is amazing to bring cultures together so hopefully you uh, support me through this and um, yeah like share and subscribe and recommend to your friends but this is my bread and butter I'm still going to be cooking for you guys and showing you some fantastic uh, food uh, recipes uh, home and in the restaurant so today chicken tikka guys Myself. What a right, this is the chicken tikka, guys. The cubes, um, I've made it two inch by two inch or three inch by uh, two inch. Um, I've kept the fillet pieces as it is, I haven't cut it. It's nice and succulent and juicy. And if you cut it, it just uh, goes a bit too small. I want nice sort of, uh, it looks nice and I want it to be nice and juicy inside. Um, this is three pieces of breast. Um, that's how it, it equated to 900 grams, but you can use this for one kg to one and a half kg, what I'm gonna show you, uh, varied on the salt. So basically, um, that's the chicken, 900 grams. I've got my mixing bowl. Let me wash my hand. Right, I'm keeping it nice and simple. I'm gonna put all the spices into this uh, mix and I'm gonna make the marinade. Uh, what you can do is add some spices to the chicken and do all these malarkey. I'm not gonna, I'm gonna keep it nice and simple because I know that's how you guys like it. So <clears throat> normally if I have one kg, I add about uh, uh, one teaspoon of salt. So that's what I'm going to try to do. Sorry, that's my measurement, so one teaspoon. I know how you guys are very, OCD with this. So that's one teaspoon of salt. I'm adding uh, spice from my mom's little spice box. I want a nice color. So it's gonna be uh, one teaspoon of turmeric. Nice and spicy. So I'm gonna add one, two. I like it nice and spicy, but one teaspoon is perfectly fine. Right, coriander. One teaspoon, and this is cumin, half a teaspoon. Now this is my uh, spice mix of the curry powder. I'm not gonna add any curry powder, and um, if I did add this, I would have not needed to add any of these stuff. So that's my mix powder that I use in a restaurant, but I'll leave that. So this is so uh, simplified for you guys, but I'm gonna use my own garam masala, guys. Da -da. This is my own garam masala, so I toast the spices and just put it into a blender. So that's half a teaspoon. That should give that aromatic, sweet and spicy flavour. Kasuri methi, one teaspoon. What I like to do is just crush the living daylights out of it. There you go, that's all that spice is. That's um, one teaspoon of garlic and one teaspoon of ginger. <clears throat> right, I'm gonna add some paprika. This adds flavor as well as color. It's mainly the color that I'm going for. About one and a half teaspoon. So there's chili powder and the paprika. Hopefully that will give a phenomenal color. Right, I'm gonna add some tomato puree. Again, this is gonna give a lovely flavor as well as color. Mm. 
This is freshly squeezed lemon juice, two tablespoons. Gives it a nice tender, uh, tenderizer for the chicken as well as a bit of flavor. And it just toughens up the skin slightly. So it's very good lemon juice. Right, I'm gonna add this bad boy. You know how I love Coleman's mustard. And I couldn't put my tablespoon in there, so put a teaspoon, one, two. Now for the controversial parts, as my videos are, some people uh, just been really uh, slating, but I'm going to be using this paste. Now, you do not have to use this paste, but you want that British Indian restaurant taste. And 90% of the bang, uh, British Indian restaurant are owned by Bangladeshis and majority of them use this. Uh, you can leave it out, by all means leave it out, but to get that taste, you're gonna need some of this, guys. So loads of different spice and flavors have gone in there. So I'm using two teaspoons of this lovely tikka paste. Now, this is only to recreate that proper British Indian restaurant style, guys. Now, tandoori paste. I'm not using food coloring in here, but yes, this has some food coloring, so it's a bit controversial, as I said to you. So, that's one, two, and this as well, got a lovely blend of spices. And put the Kashmiri paste. One teaspoon is sufficient. So that's the controversy over. Now I'm gonna use some mustard oil. Bangladeshis always use that mustard oil. You need a bit of this fat to flavor all the chicken. And this gives a lovely flavor but I also use the Coleman's mustard for that definite mustard zinginess that you, it's essential for this tikka, for it to be flavoursome. Right, gonna add some lovely Greek yogurt. So it's one kg, two tablespoons should be fine. This would basically, you can marinate all, you can just mix all the spices and what yogurt does, it just helps penetrate all the spices into the whichever meat and it's actually like a meat tenderizer as well so now that's all the spices and i need to give it a mix amazing color aromatic fragrance Right guys, I've been mixing this for the last few minutes. Now give it a little taste. Yeah, that tastes very nice. It's got that sort of tangy from the lemon. I think the salt is enough. It doesn't need much more. Now I'm gonna add the chicken. Bit of coriander. So now wash your hands and get stuck in. There you go, that's marinated, the colour's wonderful. Now, if you want to add a bit more salt, you can do, uh, but there's gonna be plenty of marinade left. Um, as I said, you could have done this up to about one and a half kg, uh, but I put about 900 grams in there. So this needs to be clean filmed up and we put, need to put it in the fridge for at least a couple of hours or overnight. So I'm gonna clean film this up and put it in the fridge for that marinade uh, to penetrate inside the chicken, guys. Right, guys, um, before grilling the chicken, put the oven uh, on a preheat i've preheated the oven for basically half an hour so it's nice and warm over here so what i'm going to do is there you go so now the oven's nice and hot and the grill is on and on here i basically oiled the pack everything that's been oiled and i put oil over here because i don't want the chicken to stick Right, this is the marinated chicken. It's been marinated for a few hours. Now we're ready to eat, so I'm gonna put them on. Right, 
Right, I have one, two, three, four. Unfortunately, I'm not going to put this on. Um, I don't want to overcrowd um, the chicken. It needs a lot of space for the heat um, to hit all the sides. Now, what I've done is I've cut one onion. I was meant to put at the bottom, so I'm going to do that very carefully. Want that roasted flavor. Half a green pepper. Green chilies, some tomatoes. Sort of centered it because the chicken's gonna be there. There you go. Right, the grill is nice and hot. Listen to that. So the chicken is in. There you go. Couple of pe few pieces at the front. It's not directly underneath the fire. But what it is, this is crucial to get that flame grilled, char grilled on the outside. Um, so that is very important for me. So this is going to take about five to seven minutes. Nope. I'm going to put the stopwatch on. Uh, five to seven minutes, I'll come back to it and have a look at it. Right, that's seven minutes. So you can see lovely chard. As you can see, the marinade has lovely stayed on, so it hasn't been dripping away. And what I'm gonna do is just add a little bit of oil. You can use any sort of oil. You can use ghee, brush it on, it's no problem. And I'm gonna put a bit of oil for my onions. This is my lovely, beloved mustard oil with that flavor. So, whack this back in. Bismillah. Now, reset this timer to another five to seven minutes, but this time be careful because it's, it's very hot there. Once you got that charred effect, have a look at it. Um, if it's ready or not. So I haven't done it on the grill. This is the first time that I'm doing it. So I'm being kept cautious myself. So hopefully I'll, I'll make it as nice as possible for you guys. Right, it's been a few more minutes since I flipped the sides. Grilling away. No charred effect yet. So I'm gonna leave it in there. I'll come back to it shortly. So it's a little bit pink inside. So it's going to need a further few minutes. It's nice and juicy. So it's kept its juices. So I'm going to stick it back in for a few more minutes. So a couple of minutes to a few minutes. We we'll just give it a nice little cooking time. A lovely charred effect on the chicken. The marination is going to be absolutely gorgeous. I just need the chicken just to be right. Beautiful. That dry heat should give it that amazing chicken tikka flavor. While that is cooking away, I'm going to heat up my cast iron. Have another peek. Lovely chard. And that is white, no more pink. Now that's ready guys to be served. So that's seven minutes on one side, seven minutes on the other side, but then I'll put it in for extra few more minutes. So seven, seven, 14, 15, 16, 17, about 17 minutes cooking time guys. But it's definitely got that heat and that juice should be nice and succulent inside. So that's the onions. Nicely roasted. Sizzling away. The mustard there is amazing. Chicken. This is what I'm talking about. Absolutely beautiful. Have to put a bit of ghee. So 
this enhanced the flavour and that charred parts of the chicken it's got a slight bitter taste to it so you put this ghee and it becomes less bitter and more delicious if you understand what I mean there you go now lemon juice Beautiful. Well, there you go. Chicken tikka, absolutely wonderful. If you've enjoyed this, don't forget to like, share and subscribe for more wonderful videos at Latif's Inspired. And check me out on Instagram and hopefully share my content. See you soon. Chicken tikka, look at that, wonderful, absolutely gorgeous, charred effect, at home, amazing guys, look at that. Can you taste it? Can you taste it? Yes, it's good. 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 So here's the chicken, nice and white, cooked properly, and my auntie's gonna taste it. How's it? Cook my tasty. Tasty, isn't it? Chicken cooked, isn't it? Bala tikka. Bala hoti. Tenga mita lakse to. Bala lagir to. Cook my joy, isn't it? Cook bala. Restaurant or lakhan, isn't it? Mashallah. Same restaurant, lakhan. Same restaurant, lakhan. So guys. Thumbs up. So this tastes lovely and amazing as she said. There you go. Chicken tikka better than the restaurant. Look at that. Charred effect as you would get in the tandoori oven. So hopefully you've enjoyed this and don't forget to like, share and subscribe for more wonderful videos. Thank you very much. See you soon.